very warm welcome to all you beautiful learners to an academy which is india's largest online learning platform and today's chapter is the wonder called sleep and this is chapter number 7 from your book honeycomb welcome to my class dear learners my name is swekshya sahai and i am your english educator i am deeply passionate about learning and teaching languages and apart from english i know two other languages like spanish and french so that was a little bit about me and you can always ace your school with an academy's plus subscription which is now coming to you at a discount of 10% when you use my code sws10 The Un Academy app is the most amazing educational app that you can come across. So please do download the app and unlock all the amazing benefits with my code SWS10. There is a free test series that you can access. There is a uh, you can ask free doubts whenever you feel like, and a lot, lot more. So please do download the app today and use my code SWS10 to unlock all the amazing benefits. And now let's begin with the chapter which is called the wonder called sleep. We know enough about what sleep is, though we don't know what exactly causes sleep. Sleep is a state of rest, an unconscious rest. When we sleep, our body recovers from fatigue caused by the day's activities. After a good sleep and um, after a good sleep and the rest that it gives. we become alert and active again ready for the normal activities of the day the first paragraph talks uh, in detail about what really sleep is so it says that we are still as human beings unaware of the real cause behind sleep but we know what the effects are so the effects of, of sleep are rest and preparedness for the next day when you sleep you are ready for the next day and your muscles relax so you feel much better when you wake up the next day when you wake up in the morning it is not always possible for us to remember what happened when we were asleep we may remember a dream but the rest of our sleep was a kind of darkness in which nothing seems to have taken place so i am sure by now we have slept enough number of nights to know that sleep is almost 90% darkness and in the 10% of the sleep duration dream occurs right but the rest of the 90% is still dark we just don't know what was happening around us and how the world changed while we were sleeping it's a completely unaware state several things happen to our body while we are sleeping as we sink deeper into sleep our muscles relax more and more our heartbeat becomes slower our temperature and blood pressure go down the ever active brain also shows down also slows down so that we can't think or act consciously but we dream when we wake up our temperature and blood pressure rise to normal a heart beat and breathing also become normal and we are fully awake and we have forgotten and uh, and have forgotten most if not all the dream that we had while sleeping so in this paragraph we come to know as to what is the difference between the sleeping time and the time that we wake up so when we sleep our body temperature falls down so does our heart activity and even the brain shows the sign that it is slow and we can't act in a conscious manner but when we wake up automatically our blood pressure rises our body temperature rises and we are back again and ready for the day to take head on what is a dream it is an activity of mind that takes place when we are asleep some dreams are probable while others are not that only means that many of the things that happen in dream could happen when we are awake others could not dreams seem to be important for several reasons one is that a dream can help us sleep through noise or other disturbance for example the alarm clock rings but our mind causes us to dream that the telephone or doorbell is ringing and we are awake and answering it so there are many things that happen during a dream 
there are some things that can be done in real life and there are some things that just can't ever happen in a real life so for example uh, sometimes in a dream you may uh, you know you may dream about having a rasgulla or having a sweet but then when you suddenly wake up there is nothing in front of you right so you were just dreaming about your desire maybe you desire to eat many times we are climbing stairs and our legs seem to move so these are the probable things that can happen other times the dreams may be of uh, you know something like a flying saucer or uh, doing something impossible right so there are some things which can be done and there are some things that just won't happen because dreams are an unconscious form of thinking our brain just uh, produces those images from our imagination from our unconscious mind and what is the uh, benefit of dream it helps us sleep more uh, sometimes it may happen that a phone may ring or a doorbell may ring but that sound can come into it that sound directly goes into your dream and becomes a part of your dream and doesn't let you wake up that easily so that is what this and this paragraph says certain doctors have found that one's dream often reveal a great deal about one's problem and that if understood correctly they can provide a key to the solution to those problems but we must remember one thing dreams cannot be used as a way to tell the future they simply can never tell the future so dreams can be used in a uh, certain ways to determine a person's problems okay but it can never be used to determine anybody's future so sleep is the most common experience but how many of us really think about the wonder and the power of sleep Many poets have written beautiful poems about sleep. Here is one in which the poet is describing the experience of falling asleep. Reading read it aloud. Lights out. It's called lights out. I have come to the borders of sleep, the unfathomable sleep. Forests where all must lose their way, however straight or winding, soon or late. They cannot choose there is not any book or face of the dearest look that i would not turn from now to go into the unknown i must enter and leave alone i know not how so the poet is describing how sleep is in this small little poem the poet says that sleep is like a jungle and sooner or later everyone gets lost in this jungle and it says that sleep is the dearest thing there is not any book or face of dearest look that i would not turn from now to go into the unknown so it it says uh, the poet says that no matter how beautiful a face is or how interesting a book is one has to go away from that book or from that face to go and enjoy the unknown which means the sleep with that we come to the end of the chapter but there are question and answers waiting for you what is the most obvious advantage of sleep sleep helps our body recover from fatigue and tiredness of the day and that is the most obvious advantage of sleep what happens when we go to sleep when we go to sleep our muscles relax and our mind goes into the state of dream define a dream in your own words a dream is state of being when our mind visualizes our imagination and presents it to us now that is dream dream is a state of being when our mind relaxes visualizes our imagination and presents it to us why are dreams important mention two reasons dreams are important because it can help us sleep through the noise we studied that in the chapter and they are also important because they reveal a lot about our personality why has sleep been called a wonder 
so sleep has been called a wonder because it has many benefits for our mind and body with that we come to the end of this little chapter but i hope that you learned a lot about the benefits of sleeping and dreams we must always sleep on time and maintain uh, the sleep cycle because it is very important for our body to relax and now let's look at the features of the unacademy's plus subscription you can you get to learn in live classes from india's top educators there is an unlimited access to all our courses there is regular doubt clearing and answer writing sessions there is exhaustive coverage of syllabus mentorship and guidance study material which you get in pdf format practice tests live test series and batch courses so these are the many benefits of the unacademy's plus subscription and the pricing for the plus subscription is on your screen right now and do remember that when you use my code as ws10 you get a flat 10% off on this price and we come to the iconic subscription features which is the top benefit of the iconic subscription is a personal mentorship which means you get a, a personal mentor who is assigned to you and they look after your development there is live doubt solving which means you can ask a doubt there and then and then get your reply there is weekly report which uh, is uh, which gets generated so you get to know your development and your parents can also connect with us to know how well you did during the week so study planner is also available and plus you have all the amazing benefits of the plus subscription the pricing for the iconic subscription is displayed on the screen right now and you get a flat 10% discount if you use my code sws10 so with that we come to the end of this chapter and this session but do like share and subscribe to our channel and do not forget to uh, hit that bell icon so that you never miss any classes from us that's it from me for today but i'll see you very soon with the next chapter until then take care of yourself goodbye